Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of Rhea's Road to the Universal Championship. So in the last one, we took on the Beast, Brock Lesnar, in a first ever match tonight. We are taking on actually another first ever match against Sheamus here on SmackDown, just tearing through the Universal Championship division, but still not being able to get a championship opportunity is Rhea. So I don't wanna say that the brass is holding her down, but you guys can kind of read through the lines here, right? All right, we got Rhea Ripley versus Sheamus here. Whoa, Sheamus coming in hot there, but I was ready for it. And look at, oh my God, the power of Rhea. And still even the size difference between these two is incredible. You have to know that Rhea is getting frustrated, just defeating everybody on the roster, but not even getting uh, anything close to an opportunity to any championship, regardless of uh, universal or otherwise. Oh, Sheamus was ready and hit her with the DDT there. Sheamus is doing a little dance there, but that's fine. Oh, he reversed it, but I reversed him right back. This spells the end for Sheamus here. We're gonna take him down. Rhea doesn't know what else she has to do. Cause she's just been defeating people left and right. Sheamus taking a breather cause he can't, he can't even handle the onslaught. By Rhea Ripley here. And just asking Sheamus to get up. And Rhea hitting him. With a beautiful plancha. Throwing Sheamus back in the ring now. What's Rhea got planned? For the Celtic warrior. Her panted, panted, <laughs> electric chair face buster there. Oh, and Sheamus was ready for it though. Playing a bit of possum. But Rhea going for the riptide anyway. He's like, screw your possum. Eat this riptide, and here we go. Riptide. Did I say riptide? Sheamus uses resiliency. Crowd chanting to fight forever, but Rhea doesn't work that way. She's going to put away Sheamus quickly here. Because that's how she likes to get things done. And going for her patented super kick party now. Uh-oh. Sheamus was ready for that one. But he's not ready for... But he's not ready for th But he's not. Oh, great. Yeah, do your do your 45 minute suplex. I'll be waiting here. Just go ahead. Let me know when you're done. Yeah, right. Oh. <laughs> there was a big collision there. <laughs> Unfortunately, Rhea Ripley did not come on top and Sheamus is taking it to Rhea here now. Rhea having some issues dealing with Sheamus now. All of a sudden. But it's okay, we're still kicking out at one. And here we go. A big shot to the knee was all Rhea needed. And what's Rhea doing here? She's taking off the turnbuckle pad. Why would she be doing that? Oh, the ref's distracted. The ref's distracted. And what's Rhea got in her hand? A brass knuckle, she hit Sheamus with it, but the ref was looking directly at her. But for some reason, didn't call the disqualification. And that's it, Rhea Ripley. There we go, that's the finish I've been trying to hit for a while, and I finally got it. Sheamus, falling to Rhea's brass knuckles here. Rhea Ripley, distracting the referee with the turnbuckle pad, pulling out something from her shorts, so we can only assume was brass knuckles. And taking out the Celtic Warrior here with another huge victory. Not that she needed to cheat, but she just wanted to do something a little different. You know, she's been winning so often. <laughs> she needs to spice it up sometimes. All right, and on to the next show here, guys. Who is Rhea going to destroy this week? Let's find out. Okay, Gunther taking on Rick Boogs. They just won't put me in a match with Gunther. They just won't do it. And I'm facing Santos Escobar again. Oh, I don't want to do this match. I don't want to do this match. I'm facing the same people every single week. I'm, I'm not doing a match. I'm not doing it. It's my universe. It's my life. I can do what I want with it. Uh, we're going to simulate the show. And I know I, know I could have gone in and made Rhea Ripley win, but Santos Escobar won. And now if I go check my standings and it's lower, you don't even understand what I'm going to do. Let's just get, like, I, I just want to simulate Rage of Survivor Series. Okay, Shinsuke Nakamura, Brock, and a triple threat. 
pretty cool. Let's check the universe mode. Make sure my rank didn't freaking drop to zero. Okay, we're still one, even though we lost the match. So we do need to win this triple threat match or I fear that my rank could dip even further. But let's get into the show, guys. We got a triple threat match, Brock and Shinsuke. And Gunther defeated our rival Santos Escobar there. All right, here we go, triple threat match. The last one before Survivor Series. If I'm in the freaking Survivor Series match, I'm going to be so mad. I do not want to be in the Survivor Series match, but I'm so going to be in the Survivor Series match, aren't I? Okay, here we go. Triple threat match between three top contenders in the Universal Championship division, but none of them compare to Rhea Ripley here. Let me get out of here. That was a dangerous spot to be. And Rhea going for a quick victory. Quick roll up on Shin. Of course it wasn't enough. We're just... Trying to sneak against our rivals here, but Brock was still too huge to take him down right now, but oh god. We're entering Suplex City now. Courtesy of one Brock Lesnar. Oh my god, he totally dodged that. And giving me a hug again. But he, I'm not gonna let it happen. It's gonna take a couple super kicks to take down Brock, but me and Shinsuke now. Working together until Rhea, of course, turns on Shinsuke. Pretty even matchup so far. Rhea trying to get control. Oh, put, stop in a mud hole. In Brock here. Ooh, and a big arm drag from Shinsuke here. And a kick out at one. Ooh, and a reversal by Rhea. But now Brock coming after her. Oh, but look at that double team. <laughs> Into the face buster on Brock here. Oh my god, but Shinsuke Nakamura already taking out Rhea. What's Shinsuke going for here? Going under the ring. Grabbing a kendo stick. But Rhea was ready for it. Hitting the riptide on Shin, but Brock is getting up. Brock gonna break up this pin here. There was no chance that Rhea was winning there, but she tried for it. And Rhea up to the top now. Oh, and completely missing Brock there. Brock is just grabbing all the steel steps here. Oh, and now Shinsuke <laughs> is surrounded by weapons. Big arm drag by Shin there. And a zigzag by Rhea Ripley. Oh, went for a super kick on Brock, but completely missed it. But able to maintain control. And now, oh, the ref is down. The ref is down. We have got a ref bump in this insane triple threat match. And Rhea was able to reverse that one. And taking it to Shinsuke now. Going back to Brock here, but just does not have the stamina. But here... Here she, here she, no, she can't do it. She was just too tired. Oh my God, and Shin trying to pin Rhea here, but it was not going to work. Shinsuke, what's he going for? Big arm drag there. And trying to pin Brock. But of course, Rhea's not going to let that happen. Went for a big boot. Shin was ready for it. And the strikes from Shin. Oh, and going... For the oh Brock reversed it though Shinsuke was going for that big uh, landslide, but Brock was ready for it and reversed into the suplex city here, and got three big suplexes on Shinsuke. But Brock was able to reverse Rhea's move, and what's Rhea going for here? An F five to Brock Lesnar. She f 5 Brock Lesnar, Shinsuke's down, but Brock kicked out. What a triple threat match we have going on here. Oh my god. I can't believe Brock kicked out of the F5. Rhea using his own move against him, but it was not enough. Oh, and Shinsuke went for a wild knee there. Didn't hit it. And Brock breaking up the pin. What an insane match we have going on here. And Rhea taking out Brock. And then taking out Shinsuke here. Oh my god, went for a big leg drop but did not hit it. Oh, Brock went for a wild swing there but didn't hit it. Oh, what? Oh, and Rhea hit him with the brass knuckles. We saw him do it. Saw her do that last week against Sheamus. Got Brock with the brass knuckles here. And Shinsuke trying to take advantage. Rhea rolling out of the ring now. Oh my god, and Shinsuke is gonna take over here. 
Oh, and Brock was still able to kick out after that brass knuckle shot. Oh my god, what a match we have here. Oh, and the Kinshasa! He hit the Kinshasa right on Rhea Ripley. But Rhea was able to kick out at one out of the Kinshasa here. Oh my god, this is the craziest match I've ever seen. We could not believe it here. And a super kick on Shinsuke. Brock getting back into it here. And Rhea's down again. And Brock hitting him with the kendo stick now. A lot of violence in this match. Ooh, and a big uppercut from Brock. And trying to put away Shinsuke here. Rhea's too, still down. Shinsuke barely kicked out there. After all the damage he sustained this match. What's Brock going for? He didn't hit anything. A big flunder by Brock here. And now getting hit with the Riptide. Shinsuke is down on the outside. With a one. With a two. And, a Bro and Brock still kicked out. He's gotten two Riptides and a brass knuckle shot to the face. And they still cannot take Brock down. He is just that big of a beast. Now Rhea's got the kendo stick here. But Shinsuke gonna break it up. And another rip. Oh my god. But Shinsuke got a sneaky pin here. Was that a Kinshasa-like maneuver Shinsuke went for there? We might never know. These three cannot be put down. Oh, but what's Rhea going for here? The prism trap trying to get Shinsuke to tap out, but Brock is getting up. Brock is getting up, but he wasn't fast enough. Shinsuke tapped out. Oh, but Brock is still attacking Rhea after the match. Chill out, Brock. What a insane triple threat match. My God. That was actually really <laughs> that was actually a really good match. Finally, get able to get Shinsuke to tap out there. And now we got Survivor Series this weekend. Let's take a look at what Rhea Ripley is doing at the pay-per-view. She better be doing something important or I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> Let's take a look at Survivor Series here. Let's see if Rhea Ripley is going to get a Universal Championship opportunity at this pay-per-view. I highly doubt it, honestly. <laughs> There's just too many rivalries going on. Not enough room on the card. There's one of our Survivor Series matches. And another one in Rhea and Gunther are not booked at all, at all on this show. My god. Talk about holding her down. But we got War Games coming up soon. But that's uh, that's NXT's show. Oh my god, we got Day 1 and the Royal Rumble coming up after that. So it's going to be a bit till the next pay-per-view again, guys. But we got some big ones coming up. Let's take a look at the next episode of SmackDown. If we're going to be taking on Big E or Santos Escobar, let's find out <laughs> which one. Or Shinsuke. Oh no, Seamus. Sorry, I forgot about Seamus. There's about five superstars that I face, and that's it. That's all I'm allowed to face. So, next episode, guys. We're we're slowly chipping at it. I I don't know anymore what I'm supposed to do. But anyway, we'll we'll see what happens very soon. <laughs> Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. Hope you did enjoy. The subscribe button right underneath me here. Some more videos on the right, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.